Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. Now, let's start. So the first question is, which country announced the International Climate Finance Plan to double the climate finance for the developing countries? This was announced by USA. Name of initiative is International Climate Finance Plan. Objective is to provide financial support to the developing countries to fight the climate change so that they can reduce their greenhouse gas emission that is ghg emission current us president is joe biden apart from that in the context of climate change recently one more initiative was in news and it is net zero producers forum so this has been announced by the major oil and gas producing countries so this has been announced by qatar usa saudi arabia canada and norway the objective of this initiative is to focus on net zero emission now recently usa was also in news as it decided to join paris climate deal and this deal was signed in cop 21 cop stands for conference of parties so this is a part of un f triple c that is united nation framework convention on climate change this time that is cop 26 will be organized and it will be organized by uk in glasgow now in the context of net zero emission recently one more initiative was in news and it is announced by CII. What is CII? It is Confederation of Indian Industry. So it has announced IGBC mission on net zero. What is IGBC? It is Indian Green Building Council. So we have discussed few climate related initiative. One is this international climate finance plan. Then we discussed about net zero producers forum. Then we discussed about IGBC mission on net zero. And this mission IGBC mission on net zero was announced on Earth Day. Earth Day was celebrated on 22nd of April. Next question is Mount Annapurna is located in which country? So it is located in Nepal. Actually, this Mount Annapurna, actually, this Mount Annapurna is a mountain range in Himalaya. Recently, this mountain range was in news as Prinka Mohite from Maharashtra became the first Indian woman to scale this Mount Annapurna. Now, recently, Maharashtra was in news as India's first. LNG floating storage facility that is LNG floating storage and regasification unit was arrived and it arrived at Jagad terminal in Maharashtra and it sailed from Singapore. Capital of Nepal is Kathmandu. In fact, the headquarters of SARC is also in Kathmandu. SARC is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation and the members of SARC are MBBS Pay. That is Pakistan, Afghanistan, India, Nepal and MBBS stands for Maldives, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Sri Lanka. Next question is which state or union territory launched the Harihar policy for rehabilitation of abandoned children. So this policy has been announced by the state government of Haryana as you can connect it with her. So what is the full form of this Harihar policy? It stands for homeless, abandoned and surrendered children or rehab that is rehabilitation initiative. Haryana policy. So it is a policy for the rehabilitation of abandoned children. Haryana was also in use because it recently started a loan scheme for the manufacturers so that they can get easy loan and they can start providing oxygen and necessary medical equipments. Next question is E2025 initiative is associated with which field? So this is related to eradication of malaria. Recently, WHO that is World Health Organization has identified 25 countries with the potential to eradicate malaria by 2025 under its E2025 initiative. So this is a initiative by WHO to eradicate malaria by 2025. Please note that this year on 25th of April World Malaria Day was celebrated. World Malaria Day was observed and the theme of this World Malaria Day was reaching the zero malaria target so 25th of april was malaria day on the other hand 25th of april was also observed as international delegations day and this is being observed to spread awareness about the roles of delegates apart from that 26th of april was observed as world intellectual property day in this context we have world intellectual property organization answer in comment box where is the headquarters of wipo that is world intellectual property organization and the theme of this World Intellectual Property Day was IP and SME, that is small and medium enterprises, taking your ideas to 
market. 26th of April was also observed as International Chernobyl Disaster Remembrance Day. Apart from that, 25th of April was also observed as World Penguin Day. Now from one question, we have covered at least 5 or 6 potential questions. Next question is, which type of institutions have been allowed to start fun have been allowed to start functioning in the gift city of Gujarat? First thing first, what is this gift? Gift stands for Gujarat International Fintax City and it is IFSC. What is IFSC? It is International Financial Services Center. So recently, NBFC, that is non-banking financial companies were allowed to start operations in the gift city of Gujarat by IFSC. Now, both type of NBFC, that is local and global, are allowed to start functioning in the gift city. So now they will be able to provide their financial services. Now recently, Gujarat was in news because Gujarat High Court became the first High Court to live stream their court proceedings on YouTube. So Gujarat High Court was the first such High Court to allow so. Recently, Gujarat was also in news as Coal India Limited signed its first solar power purchase agreement and this is an agreement for 100 megawatt solar power and this has been signed with Gujarat and this has been signed with Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited and this agreement has been signed for 25 years. Why it is so special? Because the first such agreement by Coal India. Next question is which country has recently joined the leadership group for industry transition lead it? So this has been done by USA. USA has joined the leadership group for industry transition and the name of this group is lead it and it is a climate initiative and it is a climate initiative by india and sweden so now usa has decided to join it it is expected that these three countries are going to work together in the field of climate change next question is by what percentage india's export of processed food products has grown during april to february 2020 21 as per APED. So it is approximately 26.5 percentage. You need not to remember the exact percentage, but you should have a fair idea. Now, first thing first, what is this APDEA? It is Agriculture and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. So this is under Commerce Ministry. Now, please note that we have similar authority for marine products. It is MPEDA. Recently, this Commerce Ministry was in use as Startup India completed five years. Startup India is a scheme under Commerce Ministry. And on this occasion of completion of five years, Prarambh Summit was organized. Apart from that, a startup seed fund was announced and it is a seed fund of 945 crore rupees to provide support to the startup companies. Next question is, which ministry implements the Swamitav scheme? So this is implemented by Ministry of Panchayati Raj. Please note that this is a central sector scheme there are two major kind of schemes one is central sector one is centrally sponsored scheme so this is a central sector scheme and it is implemented by ministry of panchayati raj please note that on 24th of april this panchayati raj day is celebrated recently on the occasion of panchayati raj day e-property cards were given under this scheme now why on 24th of april panchayati raj day is celebrated because the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act came in effect on 24th of April in 1993. Actually, this was enacted in 1992, but it became effective next year on 24th of April. Now, what is the full form of Swamitav? So, it stands for Survey of Villages and Mapping with Improvised Technology in Village Areas. Now, recently, this Panchayati Raj Day was also in use as INC, that is Indian National Congress, launched its digital media platform and it is given the name INC TV. It became functional from 24th of April. Apart from that, recently, on the occasion of National Panchayati Raj Day, awards were given to the different states and one such award is E Panchayat Puruskar and this award was given to the state of Uttar Pradesh. Next question is, the world's most powerful climate change forecasting computer is to be built in which country? So this country is UK and for this purpose, Microsoft is going to help UK to make world's most powerful supercomputer to forecast the weather and climate change. And this is likely to be operational from 2022. A similar supercomputer is being installed. That means a supercomputer for same purpose is being installed in 
USC and for that purpose it has collaborated with Hewlett Packard. Now in our country for the weather forecasting we have IMD that is India Meteorological Department. It is under Ministry of Earth Sciences. Present Director of IMD is Dr. Nutinjay Mohapatra. Present Minister of MOEs is Dr. Harshwardha. Next question is Sterlite Copper Smelter Plant which was in use recently is located in which state? So it is located in the state of Tamil Nadu. Actually it is a copper plant by Vedanta. Now because of environmental concerns this plant was closed. Now this plant was in use because now this plant will be reopened for the purpose of production of medical oxygen. Please note that it will be reopened only for that specific purpose and it will be reopened for a period of four months. This plant is in Tamil Nadu and to be specific it is in Thothukudi. Next question is as per the recent guidelines of Reserve Bank of India what is the maximum tenure of MD and CEO or whole time director of banks. So the maximum time time period is 15 years. RBI is the regulator of banking sector. RBI stands for Reserve Bank of India. So recently it issued instructions on the governance for banks including private sector bank, small finance bank and foreign banks. That means their subsidiary in our country. So as per the recent guidelines for the post of MD or CEO or whole time director cannot be held by same person for more than 15 years and this is to be implemented from 1st of October 2021. Recently RBI was also in use as it increased the deposit limit for payment banks and this limit has been increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs. Now answer in comment box on whose recommendation these payment banks were set up that means the recommendation of which committee. RBI was also in use as recently it cancelled the license of Bhagyodhya France Urban Cooperative Bank and it is a Maharashtra based bank. So the license was cancelled because of inadequate capital. Next question is which institution released a report titled Gender Bias and Inclusion in Advertising in India. So recently this report was in news and it is released by UNICEF in collaboration with Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. So as per this report there is a lot of biasness in our advertisements that means there is a lot of gender discrimination or gender biasness in the advertisements which are shown in our country. So the title is gender bias and inclusion in advertising in India. In simplest term it means that these advertisements further increase the gender stereotype. Recently UNICEF was also in news as UNICEF goodwill ambassador David Beckham is playing a key role in global vaccination drive. Now please note that World Immunization Week was celebrated recently and during that week the focus is on spreading awareness about the vaccines so that more and more number of people can be vaccinated. In this context UNICEF goodwill ambassador David Beckham is playing a key role. Next question is CCP that is commercial crew program which was in news recently is a flagship initiative with space agency. So it is an initiative of NASA. NASA is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It is the space agency of USA and for the CCP NASA is working with SpaceX. So the objective of this initiative is to send astronauts to ISS that is International Space Station. Recently four astronauts were launched to ISS as a part of collaboration between NASA and SpaceX. Under this commercial crew program and the name of this mission that means mission to send four astronauts is Crew 2. So this was the name of this specific mission and the broader program is commercial crew program. Now recently ISS that is International Space Station was also in news because Russia said that it is going to withdraw from International Space Station and it is going to build its own space station which will be functional by 2030. ISS is a collaboration between five space agencies. These are JAXA that is Japanese Space Agency, NASA that is Space Agency of USA, CSA that is the Space Agency of Canada, ESA that is the Space Agency of Europe and Roscosmos is the Space Agency of Russia. Next question is which country has doubled? Next question is which country has deployed artificial intelligence featured drone to track the Maui Dolphins. So this has been done by New Zealand and for this it has collaborated with the Sanford. Sanford is a fishing company from New Zealand and third collaborator is WWF. So now they have deployed artificial intelligence 
featured drone to track and to monitor the Maui dolphins. So examiner may ask you that recently these dolphins were in use. They are related to which country? Now, one more species of dolphin was in use and it is Gangtic dolphin. So it is our national aquatic animal. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. First is related to 12th Barcelona Open. So recently Rafael Nadal won this tournament. Next is Living Mountain. So this is a new book by Amitabh Ghosh. Next is Mohan M. Shantana Goda. So he was the former judge of Supreme Court. Recently he passed away. Apart from him, few other personalities passed away. Recently Jagdish Khattar passed away. He was the former MD of Maruti Suzuki. In addition to him, recently Krishnamurti Santanam passed away. He was the veteran nuclear scientist and he played a key role in 1998 nuclear test at Pokhran. Apart from him, recently Pandit Rajan Mishra passed away and he is related to Indian classical music. In addition to him, recently Al Sabretnam passed away. So he was veteran of cement industry and he was a chairperson of CSK. What is CSK? It is Chennai Super Kings. So it is a team in IPL. What is IPL? It is Indian Premier League. So it is a cricket tournament and it is organized by BCCI. BCCI is a cricket control authority in our country. Present BCCI chief is Mr. Soro Ganguly. Now next is Varun 2021. So this is a novel exercise between India and France and it will be conducted in Arabian Sea. And last is League Cup Football Tournament. So Manchester City won this League Cup Football Tournament. These were the most important questions and news events. Test is provided in a separate video. You can attempt it from there if you want to. Thank you and that's all for the day.